come to me. The world is vast and complicated. Where will you end up? Where will you go? What will you see? If you seek me, come, go to the forest, travel within, just keep going deep into the forest. There you will find a bench, all by itself. Sit at that bench and wait. You will find me in the forest. Come to me. Welcome. Please, sit. I've been expecting you. You've been dreaming of me, haven't you? It is no surprise, for many seekers dream of me before they visit. The question, my child, is what do you seek? Not an easy question, but an important one, nonetheless. You may not even know why you are here. It's okay. I know. I know why you are here. You are on a fool's journey. Please, do not take that as an insult. It is a gift. The fool's journey is at the heart of tarot. Did you know that tarot is not only used for divination, but that it is a story? Come, see. The fool. He has no number, for he is not part of the tarot. In fact, the tarot is his own story. 
you are the fool, and the tarot cards explain the journey you are about to undertake. You've already started, but you have much more to learn. The fool blindly jumps into the face of danger and the unknown. Hopeful and optimistic, he is eager to begin the journey, even though he knows not where he goes. You are the fool. You have come here not knowing why, not knowing where you will go next. Would you like to know where the journey takes you? The fool's journey is long and arduous, but it is rewarding. The first person you come across is the magician. With the deepest humility, I can truthfully say that I am the magician of your story. How else could you have gotten here? I came to you in your dreams so you would find me so I could bestow upon you all the tools and resources you need to survive this journey. There are so many powers I could grant you. The power of sight, of transformation, of love. But no, you do not need these gifts, for I can sense that they are already inside you. You can do anything you please, child, if only you believed in yourself. I sense that fear keeps you from embracing your true potential. Fear of the unknown, of making a mistake. You must cast those fears aside if you are to be successful on your quest. Therefore, the gift I will give you today is knowledge, the knowledge of what is to come, a vision of what your journey has in store for you. This journey will not be an easy one. It will be fraught with challenges, but it will also be full of lessons and gifts. If you make it to the end, you will know what it is to truly be free. At the end of this quest, you will be reborn. Do you accept this task, child? Do you still wish to travel the fool's journey? Think hard on this, for if you accept this challenge, there's no going back. The wheels are already in motion. Do you wish to move forward? Very well. Then let's begin. The next person you will encounter on this journey will be the High Priestess. She will not be easy to find, for the High Priestess shrouds herself in darkness and mystery. She will be hidden deep within the forest. Travel far and long. Don't stop. Keep on moving. Follow the signs that promise to take you farther and farther away from this place of familiarity. To find the High Priestess, you must be willing to get lost. When you think you've traveled far enough, travel even farther. Only when you have lost all sense of direction and are enveloped by the night sky will the High Priestess reveal herself. She does not suffer fools, and given that you are on a fool's journey, I would prepare yourself for this meeting with her. After your encounter with the High Priestess, you will meet a kind woman. This will be the Empress. She will care for you and provide any nurturing you need after your visit with the High Priestess. When you are with the Empress, feel free to rest and ready yourself for the journey ahead. Once the Empress has cared for you, it is time to meet the Emperor. The Emperor is the epitome of a strong leader. 
Organized and confident, the emperor leads her people with a strong foundation of respect. She can teach you how to be assertive and how to focus on the task at hand. Perhaps she'll assign you a task or a project that will help you move forward on your journey. Next, you will meet the Hierophant. Even with the courage and confidence that the Emperor has instilled in you, you may still feel worried that you're not equipped to handle the challenges that await you. This is when the Hierophant will come along. She will make sure that you are prepared for the tasks still to come. After the much-needed guidance and relief she'll provide, she may introduce you to a new companion that will aid you on the journey. Yes, you will meet a companion, somebody who you immediately feel a connection with. This person will bring a sense of excitement and passion to your life. Be careful, though. She may lead you astray from your quest. While she may offer you a welcome distraction, do not stray from the path. Invite her along if you wish, but keep on moving. You do not want to get stalled at this stage. You may be confused or hesitant to move forward, but that is precisely when the charioteer will appear. She will quickly get you ready for the journey ahead arming you with all the tools you'll need to be successful. She will help you focus on moving quickly, like a chariot, and efficiently towards your goal. Along this journey, you will need to find the strength, resilience, and motivation to continue. Keep moving forward. You will survive these tests. Don't give up. Eventually, you will come across the hermit. The hermit will provide much-needed rest and solitude after your arduous journey. She will provide you shelter and perhaps even a bit of insight, because following the hermit is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune moves you quickly forward on your journey by providing a bit of luck. This piece of luck will award you the gift of justice. All the work you've been putting into this quest will finally pay off. You will receive the justice you deserve. But don't celebrate too soon, for we only reap what we sow. If you took any shortcuts along the way, the scales of justice will catch up to you now, and you'll both reap the benefits and the consequences of your actions. Once you have accomplished your objective, you may think your journey is over. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it isn't, for you will only be halfway through this journey, and here is when things get complicated. Something will happen to make you feel stuck. Your plans will be foiled, and you won't know what to do or where to go next. You will truly be lost. To find your way again, you will need to take a new perspective on this situation. Once you do, you will feel a sense of enlightenment. You'll have experienced a death of sorts, not actual death, but a sacrifice of your old self and old ways of seeing the world. You will have transformed for the better only if you give up that which no longer serves you. To truly be reborn, you must practice letting go. This will not be easy as we all crave material possessions. To achieve temperance, you need to find balance in your life. This is particularly important because the struggle to find temperance is often accompanied by the devil. The devil is temptation in disguise. It will be someone offering you the deal of a lifetime or someone encouraging you to indulge in your desires Reverse all the progress you've made so far. Stay strong, child. Do not give in to this temptation. Alas, even if you resist temptation, you may experience what's known as the tower. The tower is scary. It tears down everything you know, everything you took comfort in. It brings about 
dynamic, unexpected change. But do not fear, for these changes are for the better. They will move you toward your ultimate goal of peace and enlightenment. The tower will lead you to the star, a hopeful time, a place of optimism. The star means that you are nearly there, almost ready to accomplish your mission, just a little farther. As you near the finish line, you may experience some weird dreams. You may not know what they mean, but don't worry. Embrace these dreams, pay attention, and let go. These dreams may just be your fear of the unknown, or they may be signs of the next stage of your journey, which will bring you to the sun. The sun represents happiness and joy. You will finally receive the reward you've been waiting for. This will bring along judgment, meaning that you reap what you sow, and that all the hard work has brought you to the world. The completion of your journey is here. You are finished with the fool's journey, and you are ready to begin anew, for you are reborn. What will be your next fool's journey? The world is the end of one and the beginning of the other. Well, I know that's a lot to take in, but don't worry. You don't have to remember all of this. I will come to you in your dreams. And as you're moving on to different parts of your fool's journey, I will remind you of them. Remember, your next step will be to meet the High Priestess. To find her, you must travel deep within the forest. Travel far and long, as far as you can. Don't stop until you are lost. Only then will she reveal herself. Now, come. You must be tired. You have a lot on your mind. But for tonight, you're with the magician. I am here to give you all the resources you need. And right now, after learning all of that information, I think what you need is to relax, eat, drink, dance, and party. <laughs> come, join the other gypsies. We'll show you what it is to have a good time.